Hi everyone, in front of me I've got Poco F5 and let me show with you how to enable the night light or eye comfort mode. So uh, we will start with the shortcut and uh, so I'll show you the fastest access to this option and after that uh, I'll show you how to customize it uh, if you do not like the effects it provides. So to uh, fastly open or turn on the eye comfort mode we have to unroll the top bar and right here in this section we have to swipe in order to find 3D mode. So basically this is the name of the eye comfort mode in this device. So let's tap on it and as you can see, I hope that you can see that the screen turns a little bit yellowish or amber. Uh, basically it is in order to filter the blue light. However, I do not really think that it is visible on this, um, on this wallpaper. So I'll show you, uh, let's turn it off. Yeah, it's not really that visible. So I'll show you how to customize it. Probably you will see the difference. Let's enter the settings. Here we have to scroll down to find the display. Mm, and then let's tap on reading mode. So first of all, of course, we have to turn it on. Let's tap on this switcher. And of course, right here, it is visible that the screen turns yellowish. And um, I would say the colors are a little bit dull and they are not really that vibrant. Um, here we've got the modes uh, from which we can choose. We've got the classic one, which simply means that uh, your device will affect the screen. It will make it yellowish. And here we've got also the paper one, which means the same. So we will have the yellow screen also. However, the um, paper texture will be added to the background. Um, it's up to you, of course. I'll show you both. So let's start with a classic. Right here, we've got the switcher for the color temperature. We've got also the preview. So we will be able to check the, um, how it will affect the colors. By going to the left, we can make it cooler, of course. Um, I wouldn't say it is not visible, but uh, it is really, really a, um, a slight effect. And by going to the right, much, much warmer right now, it is for sure visible. Uh, it's up to you, of course, which temperature is the best for you. The same situation with the paper. After um, tapping on it, it will be applied. And I'm not really sure if you can see, but on this white background, we can see like those paper, uh, paper texture. Let's enter and the settings to customize it. Again, we've got the preview. Again, the color temperature, of course, it works the same. The right, the warmest, left, the coolest. And here we've got also the texture. Here by going to the right, we can make it much, much sharper. And I hope that right now you can see the difference. So by going to the left, we can like smooth it out. And again, by going to the right, make it sharp. At least for me, it is visible, especially in this coolest, uh, this coolest setting. Uh, here we've got also the colors, which simply means that we can change the intensity of them. Uh, we can pick full colors, which are currently applied, which simply means that the um, paper texture or the color changes will not really that affect the colors. You can still see that they are vibrant. We can pick light colors, which simply means that everything will be a little bit uh, dull and washed out. So. This is how it works and we've got black and white and of course everything will be displayed in the monochromatic um, style so we've got only black gray and white up to you of course i think i prefer those full colors and i've accidentally tapped on restore defaults uh, and accidentally show you how to how it works so you can just go back to all previous settings you can also schedule that feature here as you can see we've got the uh, reading mode it can be scheduled, we can custom the period, so simply pick the turn on and off time, or we can set good night's read uh, where, and it means that your device will simply decide automatically when the sun sets and the sun rises, or I think uh, it is based on the location. It's up to you, of course, I prefer to keep this option manual, so I have to manually turn it on and manually turn it off. All right, so basically that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.